guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this fun pop of color look. I honestly was winging it when I sat down, but I am in love with how it turned out. And I'm using the Killer Colors from Benefit. This is their new collection. They have a ton of different colors now in their push-up liners. And they also have some colored mascaras. And I am thinking about doing like a series with all the different colors. So if you guys would like to see that, then let me know in the comments below. But for this one, I just kept the lids super neutral, did some black liner and lashes, and then the bottom lash line is where the fun begins. So I used the purple liner and then I smoked it out and then did the blue mascara on top And I think it's just such a fun combo. So if you'd like to see how I got this whole look then go ahead and keep on watching For the lids I'm using the 35T palette from Morphe again because I can't put it down And I picked up this cool tone taupe shade and I'm just applying this with a big fluffy brush I think this one is from Sephora and I'm just doing this in the crease to give a little bit of definition and serve as my transition shade I did already do my brows and my foundation off camera just because it saves a little bit of time and it's a little bit redundant, but I will have it in the description box as well as this cute little headband. To build some more definition in the eye, I'm next picking up this dark chocolate brown shade. This one is a little bit more on the color side as well. And I'm just applying that mostly to the outer third of the eye and then also taking that up into the crease. Since we are doing just wing liner, I want to emphasize the outer corner a little bit more than usual. And then I just take that big fluffy brush that we started out with and blend out any harsh lines. For my lids, I broke out my favorite pigment. This is Afterglow from Makeup Geek, and I just spritz my brush with a little bit of makeup setting spray, and then I'm just packing that all over the lid. I just love this so much because it will go with any color eyeshadow look that you're doing. And now it is time for that wing liner on the upper lash line. I just used the push-up liner in black, and this was actually really easy to use. I was a little bit intimidated at first, but you guys, it went on so smoothly, and it makes it so easy, especially if you're someone that's new to wing liner. The tip just makes it so easy to just set it down, and you have that perfect angle, and then you can just build it up to the intensity that you want. So I applied this the same way that I do any kind of liner. First I just do like a rough line across my upper lash line and then I like to start on that wing. And then once I get my angle right, I just start building that line up. Now it's time for mascara and to coat mine I'm using the Their Real Mascara from Benefit. This is just the original black one and this is super lengthening. So if you're not into false lashes you could just do this and you'll be good to go. But I wanted to do something really dramatic so I'm using the Grand Glamour Lashes from Vegas Nay. I'm obsessed with these. They're so fluffy and just beautiful. So once I got those on it was onto my under eyes and you guys know the first step is my Maybelline Adrewine in brightener. And then I'm just going over it with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Classic Ivory. And then I also took a little bit on the bridge of my nose, my chin, and then the center of my forehead to do a little bit of highlighting. Then of course I am just blending all of that out with a nice damp beauty blender. To set my under eye concealer, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I like to just dab that on the area first where I tend to crease, and then I go back in and just kind of brush away any excess. To set the rest of my face, I'm using the Bye Bye Pores from It Cosmetics, and I have been loving this. This seriously makes your skin look airbrushed. If you have problems with pores, you definitely need to pick this up and give it a try. To contour, I'm using Benefits Hula. This has been a staple in my makeup collection forever. And I'm using my contouring brush for Mill Techniques and going along my cheekbones and giving them a little bit more structure. I also take this on my forehead right around my temples. And I also do my chin. I always say this is totally optional. I just prefer it for my face shape. And of course, I'm going to go in and contour my nose. And I will have these two brushes listed below because they are perfect if you want to start contouring your nose. This small one is perfect for getting a lot of definition. And then this one is perfect for buffing out those lines so it doesn't look so harsh. For my cheeks I wanted something nice and subtle so I'm using this BH blush and this is one of their bombshell blushes in this shade Sunkissed. To highlight I'm using the cult classic What's Up from Benefit and I'm using a little brush to apply it. You could totally use your fingers if you prefer. I just like to use a brush and I'm taking this all along the tops of my cheekbones. Then I also take just the tiniest amount on my finger and put it right on the tip of my nose because this is super pigmented. Now that the skin is done, it's time to finish up the eyes, and I'm just taking Max Smolder Eye Coal and running that along my waterline, and then I'm taking the purple push-up liner, taking this all along my lower lash line, and then I'm going to be smoking that out with this purple eyeshadow from the Morphe 35D palette. So I'm just going right over that and really taking this down pretty far. I want it to be really, really dramatic. And I did do my lower lash line one eye at a time because that gel liner can set up kind of quickly. So just go ahead and line your eyes and then get in there and smudge it out with that eyeshadow. I really wanted that lower lash line to pop, so I am using the Beyond Blue Mascara on my lower lashes. I feel like that with that purple along the lash line is such a pretty combo. 
Now that my eyeshadow is done, I'm going to go in with the Gimme Brow and just go over my brows really quickly and set them into place and give them a little bit more body with this. I love this so much. I love that little wand and I'm using the shade Medium Deep. This is the perfect shade for my brows. To highlight on the eyes, I'm going to use the High Brow Glow. And I have never used like a pencil highlighter like this before, but it just was so easy to highlight under my brow bone. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I also did take this on the inner corners as well. After I got it on my brow bone, I did go back in with a little brush and blend it out a little bit. I wanted it to be a seamless blend from the eyeshadow up to the brow bone. Since I want the eyes to be the star of the show, I am opting for a nude lip. So I am going in with Natural from LA Girl. This is my favorite nude lip liner. And I'm also using one of my favorite nude lipsticks. This is Kimchi Doll from Gerard Cosmetics. And this is a very, very nude lipstick. And I wanted to give it a little bit more warmth. So I'm going to be topping it off with Urban Decay's Nuder Lip Gloss. This just gives it a nice sheen and also warms it up a tad. So once you get that on, your look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!